Hey guys and welcome to this video on the upcoming Barney movie. So before we get started guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. So yeah, this one's a bit of a strange video guys. So we've got the upcoming Barney movie. Uh, we're going to jump into this IGN article here and see what it's all about. So Daniel Kalula, uh, Barney movie is surrealistic and for adults. Quote, I love you, you love me, we're full of existential anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you wouldn't think of a Barney movie having, like, adult themes. You would think of it, you know, more as a children's, you know, a, chil a fun children's movie, you know, kind of like Clifford the Big Red Dog was, or, you know, that recent alligator animated movie that came out, um, live-action animated um, alligator movie. I can't think of what the name of it is now, but it eludes me. But anyway, I digress. So let's jump into this article here, guys. So it looks as though the upcoming live-action Barney movie isn't really for kids. Uh, during an interview... The New Yorker Mattel's executive Kevin McKeon revealed Daniel Kalula's take on the talking dinosaur is more for grown-ups, which is kind of strange. I don't know how you would have a Barney movie that's... I guess you could have adult themes that would go over children's head, children's heads, and then you would still have sort of like the comedy and the humor for kids while dealing with adult themes at the same time. But yeah, I can't really see a lot of adults getting invested in a Barney movie, but then again, that's just me. So, quote, we're leaning into the millennial angst of the property rather than the fine tuning this for kids. He said, it's really a play for adults. Not that it's an R rated, but it'll focus on some of the trials and tribulations of being a 30 something growing up with Barney, just the level of disenchantment with the generation. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to have themes of kind of obviously growing older, um, growing older and kind of just being disillusioned with the current generation and Barney's going to play into this somehow. But do you really go to a Barney movie to want to know about millennial angst and kind of anxiety of growing old? Is that something you really want to get out of a Barney movie? I don't really think so. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of a strange one to me. So he additionally explained that the project was surrealistic and reportedly compared the Barney movie to the works of Charlie Kaufman and Spike Jones. Um, sorry if I butchered the names there. It's not the first time we've heard that Barney movie isn't quite what we would expect. Back in 2020, Get Out's Kalula, who was producing the movie, explained why it's more heartbreaking take on the lovable talking dinosaur. So it goes on to say, uh, Barney taught us, I love you, you love me. Won't you say you love me too? That's one of the first songs I remember. And what happens when it isn't true? Uh, I thought that that was really heartbreaking, said Kalula, and I have no idea why it feels like that makes sense. It feels like there's something unexpected that can be poignant and optimistic. Especially at this time now, I think that's really, really needed. So, I don't really know. That's kind of a load of verbal diarrhea and kind of word salad there. That doesn't... What he was saying there doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, you sing the song, I love you, you love me, but when nobody says it back. So, yeah, it's kind of dealing with the anxiety and generational issues within a Barney movie. As I said, I'm not really sure why you would go and watch a Barney movie to want to hear about anxiety issues and growing old problems and yeah no that's not really what if i was wanting to watch a barney movie that's not something that i would want <laughs> so um although the project is still in the works it's being uh sold to the prospective partners as an a24 type film um i think they mean by that it's kind of like have an independent obviously like an independent film so uh, it would be so daring of us and really underscore that we're here to make art explain mckeon uh, whether or not it takes any cues from the likes of Ex Machina or Midsummer remains to be seen. Uh, want to read more about Mattel? Check out why Barbie has been banned in Vietnam. And while the Barbie Heimer double feature everyone wants us to see. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of where we are with the with the uh, Daniel Kalula Barney movie that's coming out. So yeah, existential anxiety, growing older, why? Why does anyone want this? Why does anyone want to watch that? Would you want to take your kids to watch a Barney movie that's about existential adult problems? Not really, unless I've mistaken this article and read it out of context, but that's what I think it's trying to say. But yeah, guys, so I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of lost for words. Just why would anybody want to watch this? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, but yeah, just jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this article, guys. And yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> So I'll, I'll see you guys soon.